Okay, in the last video, you saw a demonstration on how to construct an armature. So you do wanna have your armature completely finished before you start in on your paper mache. For setup, you're going to wanna to work on a piece of scrap paper or newspaper. You will set your armature, your completed armature on top. You'll have a tub of paste, and you'll also wanna grab a handful of paper towels before you begin working with the paste. The purpose of this layer is to really help um, give a nice smooth surface. You do wanna really watch for wrinkles as you're applying this layer. Um, this layer will be the final layer, and this will be the layer that we paint over. Um, it gives it a nice solid color, so we're not having to compete um, with the colors of the newspaper when we paint. The paper towel strips are thinner, so if you were to just dip this in and really try and wipe the paste off, you're gonna find that you're fighting it more for wrinkles. Um, so my recommendation is to apply a layer of paste first. Um, you will need to rip this into smaller pieces and then once you um, have um, applied the layer of paste, go ahead and just set a paper towel strip right over the top of the paste. You do want to overlap the previous uh, piece to really help hold it into place. Use your fingers to smooth out the wrinkles. Again, really take your time to smooth everything out. Or if you do have wrinkles, try and keep them as small as possible. Um, or take another piece. So here I'm seeing quite a bit of wrinkling. I can take another piece and just go right over the top where I saw all those wrinkles. And then apply a smoother piece over the top. And that can really help. Um, because th since this is the final layer, we don't want to have any wrinkles um, because then your paintbrush catches on them as you start to paint your hero. Um, same thing with loose pieces that aren't, aren't sticking to the sculpture that are sticking up. Um, your paintbrush catches on them and it becomes very difficult to paint um, neatly and to paint any um, details on your sculpture like the face or details on the clothing that you might want to add. Notice how I'm just using my fingertips to apply the paste. I'm not submerging my whole hand into the paste so you should not be covered entirely with paste just on the tips of your fingers. If you see a puddle growing under your sculpture that means you're using too much paste. If your sculpture is sopping with paper mache paste, take some dry strips and use it to move it to other areas of the sculpture. Try and reach the daily goal with the paper mache. You want. Um, because um, you can't move on to the next step of painting until your paper mache is dry. And it usually takes several hours for the paper mache to dry. So if you have a little bit to go, um, try and pick up your speed, keep an eye on the clock and get it done. Um, so then that way the next day you can move on. Um, however, sometimes you will find when you come back in the next day after things have dried, there's a piece here or there sticking up um, or a piece that's really wrinkled that you want to touch up. You can do that, but then just keep in mind it puts you back a day um, because you have to wait for that area to dry before you can start painting um, on your hero. For the hands and feet, you are going to want to follow a similar process like we did with the tape. You will put a piece on the end and then you will take another piece and wrap it around that piece to help hold it into place. When you are finished, please listen to directions on where to store your project. It might be on the counter on a piece of plastic or it might be on the cart on one of the trays. But please make sure that when you set it on the surface that you put it all the way to the back so there's room for more people to set their projects in front of yours. But make sure that you also leave space so your project doesn't touch another one. For cleanup, please make sure to put the lid on securely onto the paste until it clicks so that way we don't have any spills. You'll want to wash your hands and then put any dry pieces of paper towel strips back into the tow tray for someone else to use. If you have gotten paste on the paper towel strips, you will throw those away. Don't forget if you got any paste on your table, you will want to grab a wet wipe or a sponge from the sink and wash and dry that area of your table. If we are using scrap paper, I might ask you to store it on the drying rack, but if in doubt, if it's covered with paste, please throw out the newspaper or scrap paper that was under your sculpture so that it doesn't stick together in the newspaper or scrap paper bin. 
Now don't forget the rules of paper mache. You must work on a piece of newspaper or scrap paper, not directly on the table. You need to place your strips of paper towels on your newspaper before you use any paste. Your paper mache paste is only to be put on your artwork. It should not be put anywhere else or on any other people. Any paper mache paste that gets on the table, the stool, or the floor must be cleaned up immediately. When you are finished, you need to make sure to wash your hands with soap and water during cleanup. Failure to follow these rules could result in a loss of privileges, a detention, or an office referral. All right, it is time to get started. Here are the steps one more time.